friends welcome back to my channel so today's video is about our day 9 in Croatia that is our last day in Croatia where we are mainly exploring the stunning blue caves and the Havar island as part of our boat trip trip started early in the morning that day we had to report to the starting point of that uh, company uh, which hosted our boat trip in split at uh, 7 15 a.m now our very energetic host is briefing about the journey <coughs> So part of this trip we have four destinations mainly. The first one as she said is the Blue Caves. So in this trip the admission ticket cost to Blue Caves is also included. About the other destinations I will tell you shortly. Initially we were provided with breakfast on board as you can see and drinks as well which is also included in the package. So basically this is an all inclusive tour so you need not uh, worry about anything and uh, speaking about the boat also it is pretty big and safe uh, especially when you have to travel with uh, small kids uh, this is a very good choice. So overall we were very satisfied with them and our host also briefed us about the history of several islands that we passed by on our way. And all the details about the company that offered this boat trip and also about the package like about what all is included in the package I will be providing in the description box so you can check that if you are interested. Basically the speedboat trip itself is very adventurous as you can see. They also play music inside the boat so you can just chill and relax and enjoy the trip. So now we have arrived at a port called Komisha on the Witz Island in Croatia from where our host will be first purchasing the tickets for us to Blue Caves. Actually on that day the waiting time was comparatively lesser as per our host. We had to wait in the island for about one hour uh, before our trip to Blue Caves uh, got started. So meanwhile we just walked through that island. So there was a cafe, a restaurant and toilets nearby on this island. journey to blue caves on the Bishevo island in Croatia has begun so we were taken in another small speedboat to the blue caves So that small hole that you see is the entrance to blue caves so it's just some uh, about one, half meter to one meter tall so our guide asked us to uh, bend our head really low and lay down so as not to hit. Now let's look at the scenes inside.
right here need to go two meters down and four to the inside. So that's six feet down and twelve in. So we need to swim. We work until six. At the end of all here, that was the light if you remember on the opposite side of us in the small room. Yeah. So that's the first and only dry entrance. Here you need to go like this for about meter, two feet, then you can stand up and literally walk in. Then they took us to another spot on the Witz Island itself where it was safe for swimming so we spent some time there also. Next we have arrived at the town of Milna on the Witz Island to have our lunch at a restaurant there. So the lunch is also included in our package. For lunch they served us grilled fish, salad and french fries and also drinks and ice cream. So about the lunch it was just super delicious. After our really filling lunch, we are now going to a sandy beach nearby recommended by our host where we were again given some time for swimming if we wanted to. Our last destination was the beautiful Havar Island in Croatia. We were given some time to explore the Havar Island also and we were asked to come to the meeting point at Havar Island at about 5 pm that day for our return journey to Split. There is a hilltop fortress on the Havar island as you see and uh, it's about a 25 minute walk from the Havar town up to the fortress as per our host and uh, it's really worth watching uh, the views from the top it seems but uh, we did not go there that day because we were all pretty tired by then. And also another main attraction for your information here are the uh, lavender fields uh, but again we missed that too. We just walked through the streets of Havar town and the whole town itself was so artistic and beautiful. As it was a really sunny day, we were all uh, pretty tired of walking and then we stopped at this uh, fresh juices shop to have orange juices. So as I have said in our, uh, one of our previous videos in about Croatia, uh, these orange juices from Croatia are simply so tasty and the best. So please do not miss to have one if you are here, they are truly so refreshing. And then we return back to Split after our really memorable trip and now we are going back to our room in Split. The next day morning we started our return journey to Frankfurt. So here ends our videos in the Croatia travel series. I hope these videos would be entertaining and definitely informative for you guys at least someday. Uh, surely Croatia is a country worth visiting and especially if you enjoy swimming, simply pack your bags now before the summer ends this year. Having said that, thank you all for watching uh, all these videos and sh uh, please show your support by clicking the like button and also writing a nice comment. Uh, if you have liked the video and also uh, to appreciate our uh, sincere efforts in making all these videos so see you all in another video till then it's goodbye from me